if we look at the data model that we have here, we have a range of different tables. We've got our lookup tables, which is our customer, customer table, products table, regions table, we've got our sales table. But you will notice that we're missing probably in, uh, the key table of them all, the date table. Now, I've seen a lot of videos that show you how to manually create a, a date table from a one date column. But what I wanna show you is possibly the quickest way to create a detailed date table that will have nearly every dimension that you could possibly want uh, to um, do any sort of time intelligence. So the way we create this date table is through a parameterized query. Now, what I've got here is a range of M code, which we can very quickly put into a blank query and it's gonna enable us to put in some parameters, some date parameters, and then use, uh, through those date parameters, it creates an entire table of uh, date information that just works down this list and um, we have you know, information by date and uh, year, month and year, by year, by quarter and year, and so on, so on and so forth. So the first thing we've gotta do is we have to create a blank query. So all we have to do is find the blank query option, and we have it down here. So I'm gonna go connect. And you'll see here that this is basically nothing. It's just a query with absolutely nothing in it. And we need to change for, through the advanced editor, the code which is sitting within, uh, within, within it. So the M code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that date table code uh, like so. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of the code and I'm going to paste it over everything in this table. And we're gonna see, is you should have something that looks similar to this if you're, if you're actually following along uh, and doing this as well. And if I push done here, you'll see here that now I have some parameters. I can actually input some parameters for this dates table. And I'm gonna choose the 1st of the 1st, 2014, and then I'm gonna to go to the 31st of the 12th, 2016. And I also can put a financial year start month. So let's just say it just starts in July just for demonstration purposes, but it could actually start in, on any month. And I go invoke and you'll see how this entire table is now created for me. So I didn't actually have to go and individually go and create all of these different things. So we have things like month, uh, month and the year, quarter and the year, day of the week, week ending, so on and so forth. And what we also have, which is really handy and can be um, sometimes a massive pain to create, we also have these index columns. So this index column, for example, is gonna sort this column here. So this is a text value. It doesn't know how to sort itself other than alphabetically. And so we have this index column already set up for us that we can sort it by. And the same for quarter and year. And then also the same for the um, day and the week, for example. And then you also see that we have this FY, so we have a financial financial year. So we can now slice by just financial years, which is pretty, pretty darn cool. And so all we'd need to do is call this, say, dates. And then this is now our dates table, our um, comprehensive dates table. And we could either, we could set that as a, as a template, which I, I actually have done. So I, I don't even have to even input those things. I can just come in and use that template. Um, but then now we can integrate this into our data model and then connect up the, we'll go from date to the order date. And now we've got our complete data model. So that's just a really quick and effective way to create a date table. And this code will be made available so that you can actually utilize it in your own models. But um, you know, there's no faster way to create a detailed date table than this. So hopefully you can uh, utilize this in uh, your own work um, and um, very quickly create some compelling time intelligence uh, analysis.